and welcome back to another bookish video from the Mouse Diva. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I've been all around the world. Uh, every city, every place. Uh, always been a restless girl. We have the most beautiful book subscription box out there the literary book club i love this box like the actual outside cardboard box Ooh, we got something breakable in here so if you didn't know the literary book box is a quarterly subscription box and let me just show you Whenever you open it, you always open it to a letter with a wax seal. I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. That is a Jane Austen quote. If you look really closely, you can see that this silhouette matches the silhouette. on the box. My cuckoo clock that we got from our last Disney trip. That's why, right. Did you know that in the Germany pavilion you could buy cuckoo clocks? We bought that as an anniversary present for ourselves. And I told Mr. Mouse Diva, my birthday's next month, April. And I had told him, don't buy me a present because I think I want another cuckoo clock because we go back to Disney in April. Okay, open it up. And it is The Mysterious Affair at Styles. And we have a little letter. We have a letter from the curator, Katie. It tells you about the book. We don't need to know about that. And also a little PS, so there is a list of everything in the box but it's at the bottom of the box because she doesn't want to spoil it for you but she does want you to know if you have everything so that is why there is a list and shall we start so you're kind of supposed to um open these as you read and this one just says the literary book club so guess you could open that at any time and the next box says oh my i have some glasses on open when the last page has been read but then on the back it says page 47 so i don't know if this sticker came off something else or what happened there and we have a little bag with no sticker. So this one's on there pretty good. So I am guessing, yeah, this, this came off pretty easily. So I'm going to guess that this is page 47. And I'm still pulling things out. Oh, this, oh, this is the actual book. Well, let's just go ahead and, um, and grab it. So the mysterious of fate. Oh, dropping books of styles by Agatha Christie. Just a beautiful, beautiful addition to this book. And I'm so glad that it's Agatha Christie because I have a theme coming up in a few months, a reading theme for the month, and she is going to fall right into that. So gilded gold edges, look at that, black end pages, and these books are like a magazine type um, feel to the pages and we have a nice little green ribbon as a bookmark just look at that beautiful addition all right so let's put the book over here because i'm still pulling things out this one page 58 that's a pretty flower picture. And these bags are so nice with a sticker that if I take this off easy enough, I could use this as repackaging for something else. 
So we'll go ahead and this is gonna be our bookmark. So I'll go ahead and pull that out. If the fact will not fit the theory, let the theory go, Agatha Christie. And there's more, there's gonna be the book plate. Or no, yeah, okay, so there's the book plate that I will put in. And then we have a sticker. So always nice little bookish items that we all need. Ooh, and then this is heavy. Oh, okay. This feels like another book or either a journal. You gave too much rain to your imagination. Imagination is a good servant and a bad master. Agatha Christie, look at that. Shall we go ahead and open this? No, I want to save it to last because this is either another book or a journal. And ooh, what is this? Oh, this is something, for a little frame, it's frameable. Instinct is a marvelous thing. It can be neither, be ex it can neither be explained nor ignored, an Agatha Christie quote. And at the bottom, we have all the items. So we're not gonna look at that yet. We are going to, uh-oh. So this, I think is potpourri. Yeah, I think that might be potpourri. Um, so page 47 looks like, let's go to page 47, shall we? And the thing is, I'll skim over the page just to maybe get a clue of something that it could be. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we have a room outline. Okay. So page 47th, I'm just going to see if there's any words that jump out at me. Um, on the chest of drawers, there was a tray with a spirit lamp and a small saucepan on it. Okay, you know what? Let's stick with that. Maybe this is some type of mix. Oh my God, I just saw the word cocoa. I just saw the word cocoa. Okay, I'm gonna guess cocoa because it's some type of mix. <gasps> Rocky Mountain cocoa. See, that is so fun to like, like I'm not reading the book, but try and guess the, what it is just from a few words that jump out. Premium mix crafted in Colorado and it makes two mugs. I love hot cocoa, love this. I also love the fact that I can take that sticker off because you know, I, I put it on there and I have a reusable bag that I could use as a gift if I wanted. So that's the last page. Well, let's just go ahead to page 58. So that also feels like, it could be like a potpourri, like a sachet, is that the way you say it? like a really um, ground up potpourri, or it could be some type of mix also. By the way, I do have some discount codes on some other subscription boxes. Um, if you're interested, just look down in the description box. So 58, um, I see the word curtains and kitchen, swing door, um, eight o'clock, redder and redder face. Um, and if there was salt in it, sir, it wasn't me. I never took the salt near it. Kitchen salt. Okay, so yes, this could be fine enough to be salt. So I'm going to very easily try and get this off because I don't want to mess up the bag because it makes a very nice little gift bag with that sticker on it. And let's see if we have salt. We have not salt, yes, we have bath salt soak. It's a lemon. Well, it is salt, it's just not kitchen salt. Ooh, I bet th this is, ca it has inside it, it has California sea salt, Epsom salt, mandarin oil, lemon, blue aguave, um, and then the Meyer lemon extract, and refreshing complex of lemon balm and golden seal, 
with vitamin E. Okay, guys, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to open this. I want to open this and see what this smells like because my uh, three sisters is the company. Oh, that smells great. Okay, excited about that. All right, well, since this one just says the Literary Book Club, let's go ahead and open this one up. Oh, and another great, unique bag. Very carefully, don't want to rip it. Okay, what do we have? Oh, oh, it says while you read. So this could be done anytime. Oh, well, of course it's while you read. It's popcorn. Pop Daddy Popcorn, pure olive oil. So this is gonna be a gift. My husband loves popcorn. His birthday's in May. So I'm gonna save this till May and give it to him because this is good until June 17th. So there we go. Got a birthday present out of it. And let's go with the last page. It's just, you know, finish up. Look at that, comes with a bracelet. Ooh, it comes with some type of oil. Um, it is the brain, the little gray cells of which one must rely. It is essential oil. It is rosemary pep peppermint. Created exclusively for the literary book club. And I like how she put it in this little baggie. So in cake, because you know essential oils. Whoa, that smells good. They have a tendency to leak. So that was very nicely packaged. Remember? Because it had the bracelet over it. <laughs> Look at that. Another great box to use as a gift. Okay. So the last thing is whatever this is. Now, sometimes we do get two books in a box. So let's see what we have. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Whoa. I'm in love with this. Okay, the League of Lady Poisoners. Illustrated true stories of dangerous women. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, this is going to be a pretty book. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Okay, that Black Widow is scary. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Welcome. At tonight's dinner party, you'll be joined by distinguished guests from around the world. These unforgettable ladies have helped make the sinister trope, trope, tropes they are today. And what brings them all together is their weapon of choice, poison. This lavishly illustrated book by Lisa Perrin introduces more than 25 infamous women poisoners keep wanting to say prisoners, poisoners, exploring the circumstances and set skills that led them to lives of crime. <gasps> Learn about popular poisons throughout history and their deadly effects and explore the common motives that drove these women to commit their deeds. You may even find yourself rooting for some of them like Sally Bassett who helped poison her granddaughter's enslavers in Bermuda. Bermuda. I got it. I got it. Other stories, though, including that of Yaya Morano, one of Argentina's most notorious swindlers and serial killers, or the terrifying nurse Jane Toppin, may prove less palatable. Okay, I'm. you ready to open it? Oh my gosh. I have never heard of this book, never seen this book. Oh my. So this was put out in 2023. 
Okay, I have to. Sorry, I'm a book sniffer. For my parents, who really hoped my first book would be a nice children's picture book. <laughs> okay, that has got to be the best. Oh my god. I love that. I love that. Okay, look at the page with the table of contents. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. I would love like a postcard of this so I could like frame. That is so... <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, I'm more excited about this than the actual Agatha Christie book. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay. <sighs> Toxic timeline. Okay, let's see. Look at, oh my gosh. So here's, I guess, there's the author. I love how they did that. And what is this? This is oh, the, the perfect Halloween book. Oh my gosh, but I don't know if I can wait that long. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. Look how they match. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, you couldn't have a more perfect match. <laughs> Bravo, I noticed that. I have a lot of unboxing, book unboxings, because I love book subscription boxes. I mean, just adore them so click the subscribe button and the bell notif and hit the bell notification button so you know when i upload another book subscription box unboxing so tell me below what was your favorite thing i just opened up and which one of these would you read first until the next page tell us your favorite item on the ins on instagram well, I'm going to tell you my favorite item on Instagram. And here, it's this. It's this. Oh my gosh, it is this. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I've been all around the